Hey guys, today I'll show you how to make a simple but super effective hot wire foam cutter using just a few basic materials right at home. This tool is perfect for crafts, models, insulation work, packing, DIY decorations, or any foam related project. It's fast, cheap, and easy. Just how we like it. First, grab a small wooden block. This will be the base of our build. Drill two evenly spaced holes into it. They don't need to be too deep, just enough to fit two regular pencils snugly. Now take two wooden pencils, preferably unpainted for easier handling, and insert them into those holes. These will serve as our vertical supports for the hot wire. Near the top of each pencil, drill a small horizontal hole. This is where we'll insert copper wires to connect the heating wire. Cut two short pieces of copper wire, about four to six inches each. Bend small loops at the ends of each wire. These loops will help us attach everything neatly. Insert the copper wires into the holes in the pencils and secure them well. These will carry electricity to our heating wire. Now you'll need a battery holder for two AA batteries or one rechargeable cell. Glue it to the wooden base using a glue gun or double-sided tape. Next, install a small on-off switch for easy control. Wire everything up like this. One wire from the battery pack goes to the switch, the other wire connects straight to one of the copper contacts, and from the switch, connect a wire to the second copper contact. Be sure to double check your connections and maintain correct polarity for safety and performance. Now for the most important part, the necrome wire. This special alloy heats up quickly when electricity flows through it. Cut a piece about four inches, 10 centimeters long and stretch it between the two copper loops on the pencils. The tension should be moderate, not too tight, not too loose. And that's it. Your homemade mini foam cutter is ready to go. Flip the switch and after just a few seconds, the Necrome wire will start to heat up. Now gently bring a piece of foam close to the wire and boom, it melts through like butter. This tool cuts clean, produces zero mess and allows for precise shaping of foam parts. It's perfect for model making, insulation cuts and creative DIY work. This foam cutter takes less than 15 minutes to build, runs on regular batteries, cuts foam, styrofoam, and other soft materials with ease, costs almost nothing, and is an awesome tool for any DIY enthusiast, model builder, or creative maker. If you like this project, smash that like button and let me know in the comments. Should I build a mini jigsaw, a homemade engraver, or maybe a laser cutter using an old DVD drive? Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome DIY projects. Thanks for watching. See you next time.